I have got your free pick for the playoff play-ins this Friday, May the 21st. It's NBA playoff time, y'all, and we have got the Memphis Grizzlies at the Golden State Warriors. I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and I've got Cameron Ross on the line with me to dish the dirt. What's going on, Cam? What's going on, you know, just living in this bubble, trying to get through. So far, so good, I must say. Well, excellent. I hope your bubble does not burst. Um, so we got a good matchup here. Golden State minus three and a half to the Grizz. 221 is the total on this one. What do you say? Yeah, you know, uh, not so surprised on my end that it's the, it is these two teams. I uh, I had the Grizzlies last night winning. I had a minus four. Ja Morant missed the free throw, so it was a push. But I did have the money line as well, so we did get halfway there. I didn't have any pregame action on the Warriors-Lakers, but I'm not surprised the Lakers got through because the Lakers really needed that win to get that extra day of rest. With that being said, the Warriors will have gone from L.A. to Oakland. You know, it's like that far, as opposed to Memphis going from Memphis to Oakland all the way across. Memphis came out on fire last night, uh, had an 18-point, 19-point lead, 21 points three times in the first quarter they were up and then blew it and had to hang on at the end. I think uh, this game has the Warriors all over it. I think Wardell is going to go crazy. I wouldn't be be surprised to see a 40 ball from Steph. I don't think the Warriors are done. This game could be close. The Warriors will have the best player on the team, probably the grittiest player on the team in Draymond, and the Warriors have the better coaching. Put all that together with the travel. The Warriors have been there. The Warriors know what it takes. I'm going to go with Golden State to get it done, cover, and get into the playoffs. All right, well, I can't say that I don't like that. Draymond is a gritty dude, and I remember him at Michigan State. He was a gritty dude, that is for sure. Now, if you had to lean towards a total on this one, which way would you lean? I was expecting more points last night, uh, but the Lakers had to slow the game down. With Steph, I do think Steph's going to have 35, probably 40. The Grizzlies shot the lights out early on in the game last night, and like I said, they had to hold on. I wouldn't be surprised if this one went over, but the second game in three days with the travel for these teams, I would probably lean towards the under in this game, but my best bet is on Ward on Wardale and the Warriors to get it done. All right, well, there you have it. Picks and Parlay's view crew. Cameron Ross is taking the Warriors minus the points, and we're leaning towards an under. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and push that bell for notifications.